Hey YouTube friends, it is Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I am like giddy today. I have the absolute pleasure to be able to shoot a video on one of the very first in North America and the very first in Canada to arrive um, at the dealership's lots uh, for Grand Design, the all new 346 FLS. Yes, this is a floor plan that we've been eagerly uh, waiting for it to arrive. Uh, we've known about this floor plan for, for a while now, and I am super fired up. Uh, again, this particular floor plan, folks, represents exactly what Grand Design is all about, and that is innovation. It is about uh, quality. It's about challenging the marketplace to continually refine and come to the marketplace with just industry leading products, but stuff that is just absolutely exciting and new and innovative. And I, I could talk and talk and talk, but what's really cool about this floor plan folks is this is a front living room redefined and it's well under 40 feet in length. You know, typically your front living room floor plans in the industry are mostly over 40 feet, you know, 41 feet, 42 feet, they are behemoths. And with the engineering that Grand Design puts in their products, um, which is very unique to how they do things in the industry, uh, this particular front living room, folks, is 37 feet, 11 inches. So a beautiful, beautiful length for people that don't want to get a fifth wheel um, over 40 feet that maybe have a seasonal site that they, you know, want to park it on, but you're limited on length. Uh, or if, you know, you want to have a beautiful, beautiful front living room floor plan, but you don't want to pull over 40 feet like this particular, we have travel trailers as long as this trailer, uh, as this fifth wheel, this front living room. So I'm super excited. Also with Grand Design, um, a lot of firsts, not just the floor plan, but this has the all new exterior as well, uh, as you can tell right away from the, uh, from the video. So uh, they've gone away from that, um, if you want to call it that champagne colored exterior, uh, fiberglass. This is a white fiberglass that they've got on it with a new graphics package, new front paint. Uh, they're still utilizing the same front cap, the design, that structure cap that they're known for in the Solitude lineup with that front bonded automotive style windshield, but all new exterior. It's got a really cool look. You know, if you've got a red truck, burgundy, silver, gray, black, white, uh, even a blue truck would look good on the front of this particular trailer. And uh, again, all new uh, for this 346 FLS. So we're going to jump into it. We're going to go deep as we already have started going down that path as we do on most of the videos. So again, I talk a lot on the outside. If you want to jump to the inside right away, just grab that little red dot at the bottom of the screen and just slide it forward to where you see us jump inside. So again, Grand Design, known for their structure, their foundation. They were the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty and it's industry leading. They built their products to support that warranty when they started their company. Very, very important. Okay, a lot of manufacturers did not do that. The ones that have three-year warranties now, a lot of times they didn't change how they uh, built their product. Grand Design, building you a far superior product. But right up here on the front end, folks, structure cap, um, Grand Design, that, that cap goes on. It's very rigid, very structurally sound. Um, but behind that front cap is a full steel cage tying in sidewall to sidewall. And it really creates a very solid platform uh, for towability, for making sure your slide boxes don't bind and twist. Uh, all of those things that Grand Design is known for, uh, again, in their, in their solitude uh, 346 FLS here. And then right up on top there, you can see there's a windshield in the front of this. And uh, that's an automotive bonded windshield. So, you know, basically the same style of windshield that you'd have in your vehicle. Integrated front LED lighting. This again has the new upgraded paint, new, new, new paint color uh, on the front cap of this trailer. And uh, the graphics, the graphics Grand Design uses folks are a 3M graphic with a higher UV coating, comes with a five-year warranty. 
which is absolutely fantastic. And that front cap again is fully painted with an automotive paint. So far less chance of fading and discoloration uh, over time. Your, your fifth wheel that you're going to invest a lot of money into is going to look good for many, many years going down the road. So uh, which is real good. The other thing, you got that air dam on the front cap, part of the structure. Uh, on that front cap to make it go on nice and square, help break up the wind as it's, you know, you're towing it down the road, you're not getting that vortex in the back of your truck, which can affect towability, those sorts of things. Again, Grand Design folks, you've got the Moride pin box. This has Moride everywhere. Moride pin box, Moride suspension, Moride power cord reel, Moride pull out storage tray, uh, and we'll show you a little bit more about that. But uh, there's a big, big rubber bushing here. This is all North American made. So what's really nice about the Moride pin box folks is when you hit the brakes on the truck this acts as a bit of a shock absorber to help smooth that that slowing down you're not going to get the banging and the chucking is what we would call it or when you go to accelerate and push down on the on the pedal to you know to take off again it's going to help cushion that that blow as well so again far superior product than just a regular kingpin uh, that you find on a lot of the other products integrated docking light here right up over top of the king pin as well. Uh, with that integrated docking light, folks, that's the same switch. It's right beside the baggage compartment right there. And that will activate that integrated lighting on your front cap. And then you've also got the ground clearance lighting underneath the trailer as well that they run down the full length of the trailer. So really creates a really nice ambiance on the outside of the trailer at night, that sort of thing. So. Um, right up front here, again, for Grand Design folks, I option in the Gen Prep on all of our solitudes. Uh, you have the opportunity to go completely off grid with this trailer. So if you wanted to add a 5,500 watt Onan propane generator, it's all right here. The install doesn't take a lot of time at all. Uh, you know, handful of hours and uh, you've got yourself a, a generator. Um, I've also paired this fifth wheel with the Jaboni solar panel and the uh, 2000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter Magnum, uh, which is a very high quality inverter. So, you know, if you're at a campground and they're saying you can't run your generator, provincial campground or what have you, and you don't have power at your site, you can turn on your inverter and that inverter will power the 12 volt batteries, convert that to 110 power for all of the plugs inside the trailer. So allows you to turn on that laptop, put a movie on, those sorts of things. So, and that, th uh, that solar panel on the roof of this trailer is a 300 watt solar panel. We'll show you when we jump up on the roof for that. So, and with that package, you get the dual vented battery boxes as well. So highly recommend putting AGM six volts on. Uh, AGM six volts are a very, very good quality battery. Uh, look at it as a bigger funnel compared to a lead acid six volt. Um, you just got more ability with the solar to allow that charge. They just charge that much faster, which is really, really good. Um, the sidewall on the Solitude folks is a gel coat sidewall. It's a, a what they would call Lamalux 4000. So it's a super high grade uh, almost like a boat hull type finish on the exterior wall of the product. You can't see the fibers of the fiberglass. So if you were to ever damage the outside wall, they can do fiberglass repair work, put that gel coat right back over top and you can't even see where it's been damaged, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, but far less chances of fading and discoloration, those sorts of things. Um, but with the Solitude folks, unlike a lot of products in the industry, they have a very thick sidewall. So you're up to a two and a quarter inch sidewall, which gives you a higher R value rating at R11. You know, most of your trailers in the industry are going to be at this, you know, type of level. You're at a two inch uh, sidewall, which gives you an R9. So just a thicker wall, a little more sturdy, uh, that sort of thing. So we're going to show you the weight badge here on this particular tra uh, trailer. So the dry weight as it came off the assembly line is 14,390 pounds. Okay. Your GVWR rating is 16,800 pounds. That's what the tires, axles, brakes, and everything are rated for. That's the maximum the trailer can weigh legally, which giving you the difference between the two of a very respectable 2,305 pound cargo carrying capacity. So really, really solid cargo carrying capacity for this fifth wheel. You know, if you wanted to go full-time living and make this your house, which Grand Design does warranty for, buyer beware, not all manufacturers warranty for full-time live-in use, um, you can do it in a Grand Design trailer. The hitch weight on this trailer is 3,096 pounds. So 
be aware, you know, make sure you're looking at your vehicle specs. You're going to be minimum probably a one ton, depending on what kind of three quarter ton you got. I probably wouldn't recommend three quarter ton, but uh, one ton for sure. Dually is always going to help as well. Um, but uh, know your vehicle specs. If you're wondering what the payload capacity is of your truck, uh, we're educating customers all the time on this when they visit our dealership. Uh, there's a sticker right on the door or the door pillar of your driver's door. There'll be a sticker there. It'll have red and yellow on it. And there'll be a sentence on there that says the combined weight of all occupants and cargo cannot exceed whatever that number is. So ultimately, you know, if you can be in that you know, it'd be nice to be in that high 3,000 pound payload capacity, 4,000 pound payload capacity would be really nice to pull a trailer like this. So um, we're showing on the pass through storage compartment, of course, uh, true to form for most front living rooms in the industry, the storage compartment forward of the, at the trailer isn't necessarily huge. You got a bigger opening on the other side uh, as well, but we're gonna get to the back of this trailer, which you've already seen at the beginning of the video. Uh, this does have an elevated bedroom, which gives you unbelievable storage. But right here, you've got a few things going on. You do have Grand Designs um, enclosed utility center. This is first class all the way. They use the Nautilus P1 utility panel. It's all color coded, very easy to operate, very easy to read. It has your black tank flush here, your city water connection. You can, you know, do a power tank fill if you're getting low on water, which I don't know why you would because you got 93 gallons of fresh water capacity with this trailer. Uh, you can backfill your fresh water tank. This is where you bypass your hot water heater as well. There's no more pulling a panel off the back, off the back of the hot water heater to, you know, turn valves, all that sort of stuff. It's all done right through here, which is really, really nice. You've got your outside shower hookup, water pump switch. Um, you know, you've got it all right here in the storage compartment. The other thing you've got is this is a heated compartment as well. So right here, they port heat in the, into this area. So making it, you know, again, this trailer temperature tested to, you know, close to minus 20 Celsius. Um, with Grand Design, they do that on, on most of their products, which is really, really good for people that want to go do some colder weather use. But again, this utility compartment all heated and your pass-through storage compartment here is heated as well, uh, which is really good because it creates a really nice air buffer between you inside the trailer and the, you know, the ground outside, which is really good. The other thing you've got, coax cable connections. They're all uh, set up for the satellite dish if, dishes if you ever wanted to add a satellite. Um, 110 plug rate right in this compartment as well. Uh, whole house water filtration system. That's gonna do about 6,000 gallons of water. Uh, you can run your uh, fresh water line up through this porthole access. Keep this compartment locked and closed, which is nice because if you want to do a full skirting package around the outside of the trailer for wintertime use, it just helps make sure that, you know, everything's staying nice and warm. And then again, they do do the low point drains. Those are the drains that help you drain the, the water lines when you go to winterize the trailer. They do the valves for those up inside the heated area which is really important. Most trailers, folks, when you look underneath, they just do a cap, and so you'll still have water going up to that point. So be very careful, buyer beware of what you're looking at. Don't listen to always the, what the dealer says in terms of winterization. Get the facts. Uh, not all products are built the same. Grand Design doing the right things to ensure people can use these for the winter time. So I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but you know, really, really important. The other thing they do is they pull the uh, control module out for your six point hydraulic uh, Lippert leveling system, level up system on this trailer. So right up here underneath, you've got your two front jacks, which are mounted outboard, which is really nice. They're not inboard and they've got a bit of an angle on them just to help with stability. So very, very stable front end with the leveling system. And you've got uh, two more legs back of this on each side of the trailer. So one in front of the tires on each side and one behind the tires on each side. So the next leg here, those are for stabilization. And then the legs in behind those tires there are for leveling. So super, super solid leveling system on this trailer and uh, you get it on the solitude. So we'll shoot, shoot up underneath the trailer. Again, fully enclosed, heated underbelly. With the solitude folks, you get a double bat insulation, which pumps you up to R45 from this outside enclosure all the way up through your floor. Grand Design heats their tanks two ways on the solitude, okay? You've got a dedicated heat duct that pumps heat down into the holding tank cavity. 
uh, and those tanks are enveloped with insulation, which is really good. And then each of your tanks has a thermostatically controlled 12 volt heat blanket on as well. So very, very good heating system in the underbelly of this trailer. They also do the rail tight system. That's that piece of aluminum strip that you see with the screws going in it to seal in the underbelly here, folks, a lot of products. They're moving a lot quicker down the assembly line and all they use is a screw and a washer. So in a lot of cases, you can get gaps where that coroplast it marries up to that frame rail and heat will escape or you know cold will come in whatever you want to say and uh, grand design really ensuring they're keeping that heat in and the critters out and those sorts of things so uh, you do have the uh, the easy pull on your fresh water tank there it's a two inch gate valve you just reach down pull it pull that and that'll drain that 93 gallon capacity real fast so and you get this on all the solitudes that's a beautiful thing with grand design is uh, that, that consistency throughout the lineup, which is nice. Even just how they do their, their underslides, super clean and smooth, no Darko woven fabric anywhere. They put a proper edge here, you know, a cap edge here where you can get some friction and that sort of thing. We've seen it where trailers will wrap that Darko right here and not protect it. And that friction over time of that slide opening and closing will wear that Darko fabric open, exposing the wood decking on your floor, which becomes susceptible to moisture intrusion. So Grand Design definitely not cutting corners there. So uh, the other thing I mentioned, that three-year structural warranty, Grand Design built their product to support their warranties. Very, very important. Grand Design, every vertical wall panel and slide roof panel is fully laminated in their lamination facility. It's a separate factory right at the Grand Design campus. Uh, it's humidity regulated, temperature uh, controlled to exact, exact specifications or climate so that you get proper bonding with the, uh, with the lamination on their sidewalls. So very, very strong, but lighter weight. Grand design what they do, wherever you see an exterior fastener going into the sidewall, like for example on this point where you've got a slide end wall that's fully laminated, a lot of products, though they don't laminate their slide end walls, um, and it marries up with the sidewall here, this aluminum tube that's uh, laminated and welded within the superstructure of the sidewall, this screw going in is a steel screw. In the aluminum tube, um, they stuff a wood dowel. Very important to support that steel screw with a wood dowel. A lot of products do not because it's cheaper to build it that way. It's l you can build a lighter weight trailer. The issue is, is that when you're towing your trailer down the road after a few years, that steel screw will wear that hole bigger in that aluminum tube. And that's where this, this, you know, this corner molding cap for your slide will start to pull away because it's just not as tight anymore. Okay, so Grand Design doing all the right things from that. So laminated slide end walls, fully laminated wall. What's really nice is this wall panel here came out of when they laminated the main wall this piece was within the in the main wall so you get consistency in fiberglass consistency in um, insulation consistency in the aluminum tubing in the superstructure that they use very very important and then the roofs of all of the grand design slide boxes folks they will actually build a walk-on slide box which is really really good okay when you want to get up on the roof to sweep off the top of the slide, it's a bit of a distance from the roof up here to the top of your slide box. So what's nice about that is you can literally step down onto the top of that slide box and sweep off the top of your slide, which is nice. Uh, and that roof panel is laminated just like the, uh, the side walls are. So really, really cool. Uh, the other thing, since we're right here beside it, um, with the Grand Design folks on the Solitude, uh, Momentum products and the S-Class, they've upgraded the running gear this year. So you've got the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. Part of the Moride family, of course, North American made, very, very important, which is really, really good. Don't be confused with the other one, it's named a little differently. I'm not gonna name names by a different manufacturer, but it comes from overseas. It's not nearly as good quality, okay? But it's painted blue. Um, Moride, North American made, very, very good, well made. And uh, you've got that on the, uh, on the solitude here. The other thing is you've got bronze bushings. For all your bushings, they're grease, uh, you can grease them. And that, that, um, that axle is a Dexter axle and uh, comes with a five-year warranty. So full Dexter towing system, 
uh, never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs. You can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway. But one of the most noticeable changes that they did was they went to a 17 and a half inch tire, which is really, really nice. It's a Cooper H rated tire. I mean, you look at that tire, it's barely squatting down and uh, it's a true trailer tire. So how you can tell is there's not a lot of tread on this outside strip here. So when you go to back the trailer up and jackknife it, um, it the tire glides a lot better. Uh, so less tire binding, that sort of thing, less chance of bending a shackle hanger or an axle or, you know, those sorts of things. A lot, you know, less hard on your, on your hubs and those sorts of things as you're, as you're backing up. So Grand Design really ensuring they're putting that real solid towing system uh, on the solitude. So, plus it looks super cool too. All right. Uh, since we're beside it again, as we're going down the side of the trailer here, uh, the appliances, your furnace, 35,000 BTU furnace by Suburban uh, on the off door side. So it's not underneath your awning. That'll provide most of the heat for the trailer. And then you've got your uh, 12 gallon gas electric hot water heater. You do like close to 20 gallon recovery rate per hour. So upgraded size on the hot water heater you get with the solitude, which is nice. Now, Storage, 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 beautiful storage. This is underneath your bathroom and your master bedroom, but epic storage here. Absolutely huge. You know, you got your gate valves to drain your holding tanks up inside the protected heated area. The really nice thing, folks, about this elevated bedroom, unlike a bedroom that may be on the main floor, is because this compartment is fully heated, Again, it creates a really nice warmer air pocket. It may not be room temperature, but it creates that really nice uh, air pocket from your master bedroom to the ground outside, just really helping with the, the warmth of the trailer. So all vinyl decking here. You got the more ride. Uh, power cord reel as well so you just hook up your power cord in that push the button and it'll automatically spool up your your 50 amp power cord which is real nice the baggage doors on this side are all on gas struts so you don't have to worry about them going up too high you can still suck that slide out in uh, when this when the baggage compartments are in the up position but really really nice access here as we round towards the back of the trailer here you're gonna see super tall ceiling because that bedroom is elevated, but you do get the more ride storage tray here as well. This simply pushes in and out and it's rated for like 800 pounds. So if you've got some heavier items that you just wanna you know, easily pull out to you, you get it with this particular product, which is nice. So one thing to note on the Solitude folks is it is a wide body trailer, just as wide as a Greyhound bus. So your 101 and a half inches or so from here to here, or eight feet and a half, call it. Most trailers in the industry are eight feet wide. Um, so with Grand Design folks, you just get, you know, when you're talking on a 38 foot trailer and your extra, call it six inches in width, five, six inches, that's a lot of square footage you're adding to the trailer, which is really good for storage solutions. And that's why you can get uh, far better storage in their pass through or their underneath storage uh, in the trailer. And it translates into better floor plans too. So the other thing I just want to uh, kneel down here and show you is the amount of structure that you're seeing in the Solitude product here, folks. One thing that, you know, a lot of manufacturers you'll find is they like to pull back to save money. With Grand Design, you typically will have taller, thicker uh, gauge alloy uh, for all their aluminum framing that they're using. You'll notice it's all fully bead welded together, double-sided bead welded, uh, done proper. So super, super big structure here in the, uh, the uh, base of this uh, Solitude 346 FLS. And it's wide open, so you, know, you get nice heat distribution in the underbelly here because like I said, this is a, a heated compartment as well. So beautiful, beautiful storage on the, uh, the back side of the Solitude. The other thing you get is the uh, two inch receiver. That, that is a 3000 pound hitch has a 300 pound hitch rating, it's got the eyelets for chains, the flat four wiring. So if you're in a spot where you're, you know, legally able to pull a trailer behind, uh, depending on the length, overall length from the front of your truck to the rear of the, the, the second trailer, you can get it done with the, with the solitude. So again, pre-prepped for rear vision camera, grand design on all of their products. Part of that golden thread of consistency that you'll find folks is 
full walk-on roofs on every single trailer they build. They put ladders on the backs of everything. So typically in this segment, every manufacturer is building a walk-on roof. Um, but again, that walk-on slide box, not everybody's doing that. So, all right. Um, on the campsite of the trailer, one thing to note, you have dual awnings. They do one uh, from the door to the back here and then one on the outside wall of the uh, the dinette slide in your kitchen area so you've got a 16 foot awning um, right above your entry door and then a six and a half foot awning uh, on the outside wall of the slide out so beautiful uh, you know shade coverage on the camp side of your trailer so on this side you've got the the baggage doors flip up uh, nice and flat up against the side wall of the trailer, which is nice. They're not going to be sticking out like this on gas stretch, which is kind of smart. You know, it's, you know, if they're sitting here and you got this door open, you know, it takes up camp space. So just shoot around here. Uh, if you wanted, you could hook up an outside uh, television as well. They give you the 110 plug and coax cable connections. It wouldn't be hard to do a swing out television here. Kind of cool. Another shot of the, uh, the tires and, and uh, rims there. More ride suspension, like I said. The other thing um, Grand Design does is they give you the spray port uh, right here at the entry door on all of the solitudes. What's nice about that is they do use the step above step. Um, this is a fold in and out step. Has really helped uh, transform what the manufacturers are able to do with uh, floor plan availability. It's a ram assist step, so it's easier to you know, lift in and out of the trailer. Um, but with this step above step, or rise above step, sorry, step above, uh, forgive me, um, this will fold right up inside the trailer. So unless you, you know, clean the steps before you bring them in, if they're a little dirty, you're gonna bring all that gear inside. Um, unfortunately, that's just one of the things you have to live with with this type of step that a lot of the manufacturers are using. One, again, what Grand Design is doing is they're putting that spray port access right here at the entry door so you can get out that coil blue hose and uh, you know spray off the steps, wipe them down so you're folding in a real nice clean step into the entryway of the trailer. But again, like I mentioned, it's that, that step has really helped. Like typically the old school step, you wouldn't be able to put a step here where that tire is because, you know, tire or step, right? So that, that rise above step really has helped them uh, come out with new innovative floor plans in the industry. So fold that puppy down, super solid. The legs are fully adjustable on that. So depending on the, how level the camp space is, you can adjust those legs so that step sits nice and flush to the ground and solid. So again, three year structural warranty with Grand Design, fully laminated slide boxes, uh, WeatherTech insulation. So let's talk a little bit about the R values on this product. I know I've mentioned a little bit about it, um, so from the roof down on the Solitude folks, as it is with most of their products, you have an R40 through your roof and down your front cap. Again, the Solitude uses that two and a quarter inch sidewall, which gives you an R11, a little bit thicker sidewall than what you'd get in most products. And then through the floor, outside enclosure, all the way up through the floor, you're dealing with an R45, uh, which is really nice. And then again, that 35,000 BTU furnace, You've got the thermostatically controlled 12 volt heat blankets on all the tanks. Um, and then that fireplace is a nice touch because you've got the um, uh, BTU rating on that. I think it's new, it's up to 10,000 uh, 10, BTUs as well. So um, real solid heating capabilities with the trailer. Uh, again, little narrow pass through storage compartment, typical for a front living room type layout. Some are bigger, some are smaller, uh, but on this particular one, this is what you get here. And uh, in here, you've got your central vac access, the regulator for your solar panels right there, battery disconnect switch, and shut off for your inverter. And then right here is the pre-prep for the tire link. So if you wanted, you can get the, um, uh, that's the docking station. So you can get the, the tire pressure monitoring system right from our parts department. And the module would click right into that, that housing. And you'd put the little, uh, on the ends of your uh, valve, valve uh, stems, those little buttons screw on, and then you can monitor the air pressure as you're towing your trailer down the highway. So beautiful, beautiful new setup on the Solitude 346 FLS. Love to invite you down to our dealership to uh, check, check it out. I'm gonna jump up on the roof and we're gonna talk a little bit more about Grand Design and their structure, of course. So just one second. 
All right, we're up on the roof of this Solitude 346 FLS, and yes, I am standing on the slide box of your master bedroom. So again, like I mentioned, walk-on slide boxes helps you to maintain uh, the, the roof of your trailer. Uh, if you want to climb up on the roof, sweep off the tops of your slide outs, you have that ability with the Solitude, which is really, really good. In fact, all Grand Design products offer that, which is good. So right from the back forward here, you've got uh, your Coleman Mock air conditioner. The air conditioning system that Grand Design uses within their roof is their Stealth AC system with racetrack ductwork. So the ductwork that they use is kind of similar to what, uh, let's say, a NASCAR racetrack would be, where the ductwork for this air conditioner and your forward air conditioner are all interconnected. And what it does is when the AC system is operating, it's literally forcing the AC through the ductwork, but then back through the air conditioner, making it super super efficient okay grand design uses exclusively of course depending on product shortages uh, but they try to use that coleman mock air conditioner uh, both your air conditioners on this product are 15,000 btus um, and then you also get the heat pump as well on your main ac so that heat pumps real nice you turn that on it'll actually blow heat which is really really cool so very very good system and then they put little kind of baffles inside the ductwork right above where the AC would come out down into the cabin of the trailer and what that does is it forces the AC down inside the trailer so again one of the most efficient AC systems on the market and it's going to maximize your cooling capabilities uh, in getting the trailer nice and cool on those hot days so um, again R40 through your roof grand design 16 inch on center wood truss the truss is very similar to your house just not as steep of a pitch the Grand Design roof um, has a very, very good thermal barrier, which is really nice. They don't put laminated roofs on any of their products. Uh, laminated roofs are designed to be lightweight and easy for the manufacturer to install, okay? Uh, the type of roof that Grand Design uses uh, has an attic vent. That's what this is right here, okay? What does your house have? Your house has attic vents. Why do they put attic vents? So they, your roof will breathe on a super hot day. It allows for that heat to escape out of your roof, keeping your house cooler. In the colder temperatures, an attic vents helps that moisture to escape, uh, which is real nice and very important on an RV because you're in a more confined space, you're cooking, you're showering. The heat that you use in your, um, in your trailer is powered by propane and propane has moisture in it okay so when that furnace is running you want that heat to be able to escape we found over the years especially up here in Canada in the colder climates if you have a laminated roof on a trailer what can very often happen is the moisture won't escape and so what will happen is little uh, water droplets will start to form on the inside of your trailer on the roof and literally you could be sitting on your sofa and all of a sudden you got a raindrop landing on your lap. So with this type of product folks, they carry it through all of their brands. The best roof you could possibly put on a trailer uh, to go through most, you know, all of the climates that you may take your trailer through and you're gonna get the most efficiency out of it. So uh, Grand Design again, doing the right thing there. Lots of roof vents. Uh, that one there is in your uh, bathroom. Skylight above your shower and the shower's gigantic. In all of the uh, kitchens in the Solitude Reflection product, folks, you do get that max fan with the rain sensor. So if you have it open and that fan running, it starts to rain if you're away from the trailer, you just know that that lid's gonna close automatically for you, which is nice, okay? Uh, the other thing, as I mentioned before, you've got the off-grid solar and inverter package with this. So this is a 300 watt Jaboni solar panel. Um, you've got that charge regulator in it as well, which is really, really nice. You can add multiple panels if you so choose. I mean, you got a lot of real estate here. If you wanted to add, you know, a few more panels up here to really get uh, super off grid, you totally can. Uh, but that solar panel is really nice to have for, you know, parking the trailer in a storage compound. You don't have to mess around with batteries. Uh, that's your TV antenna. It's the WineGuard Air 360 Plus. What's really cool with, about this is you can add the gateway device, which will basically enhance your Wi-Fi. It's a Wi-Fi repeater, so basically it will suck in, I believe it's like a mile and a half mile uh, away from the trailer, a Wi-Fi signal. So let's say if you're visiting friends or if you're at a campground and you're able to connect to Wi-Fi, you can pull that signal in and watch your Netflix, Netflix and YouTube right off your Roku TVs uh, that come with the trailer. 
So real nice system there, as well as depending on the cell phone plan you have or who your provider is, you can add a SIM card to that gateway device too. So if you don't have the ability to add or connect to Wi-Fi and you have a really good cell phone plan, you can stream right through your cell phone plan, which is real cool. So I'm just gonna jump down onto this slide out uh, up in your living room. So real easy, you know, Grand Design doing super good job of the, the ceiling of the trailer. They lay it on thick. The roof membrane is an Alpha Superflex. Uh, it's more pliable, it's more abrasion resistant uh, for what they use. A little bit cooler as well. So, and if it's wet, you gotta get up here in a rainstorm, your feet are gonna stick to it a little bit better, which is good. So, beautiful roof on, a, uh, on the Solitude. We're gonna jump down and head inside, just one moment. So one thing I mentioned um, before I jumped up on the roof there was Grand Design stuffs a lot of the aluminum tubes with a wood dowel. Now, there are a lot of fasteners that go onto the outside wall of the trailer on the exterior and your cabinetry on the interior of the trailer. And one of the things that, you know, you can't always stuff every aluminum tube with a wood dowel. So where, for example, like this ladder uh, mounts to the rear wall of the trailer, and this is a laminated rear wall, okay? Very, very important. A lot of products don't laminate their rear walls. Uh, but what they do is within the structure of the sidewall, they'll laminate a sheet of steel where they can't stuff an aluminum tube with a wood dowel. So all of these screws here go into this foot plate here and into a sheet of steel. Very important. Your cabinetry on the inside of the trailer makes it super, super strong. That screw where it fastens that cabinetry to the, to the wall on the inside, they stuff that, or sorry, they laminate in that wall a sheet of EGS, electro-galvanized steel, for that screw. It's not just going into a thin Luon panel and foam. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that, that what Grand Design's doing there for, again, for structure. Nice wide entrance doors, which is cool. Uh, the other nice thing, that window in your door, it's the thin shade ready. So you can actually add, I don't know if you've seen patio doors on homes and that sort of thing that have blinds between the two panes of glass. Very similar, you can change that out and add that blind right in there. So a lot of times you close all the blinds on your trailer, but that one window in your door uh, lets a lot of light in. So now you can get a, a shade to go in there. So kind of cool. All right, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna go right to the front of this trailer. But as we do, I'm just gonna shoot around so you can see what this looks like. Beautiful. Beautiful layout. My jaw hit the floor when, uh, from the first time I walked into this trailer here, when it showed up. So, all right, we're gonna jump forward here. Central vac port access right there on your steps. So what's different about the layout now is that instead of having your entertainment center built into the front cap of your trailer, they've flipped it, okay? Theater seating is a lot deeper and takes up more space than what they can do with an LED TV and the fireplaces aren't very deep anymore. Um, so by flipping it, it allowed them to get the length down which is really cool. So you've got theater seating right here up at the front of your trailer, okay, with that front bonded automotive windshield. It's got a blind that you can pull down to seal it in. What I really like about this is you actually get end tables beside your theater seating. So a place to put um, whatever you want, you know, your glasses, a book, a beverage, some snacks. It's definitely more set up like a house that way. So you get storage there, storage above, beautiful visibility and then you've got the theater seat or sorry your trifold sofa here that's on a slide out great big windows there's your entertainment center so fireplace it's a 10,000 BTUs by the way so that's going to pump out some heat which is real nice and that TV power lifts and I'll show you what that looks like and then another trifold here. What's really nice about being a wide body design is you can trifold this out, you can trifold this sofa out, and you still get a walkway down the middle. So if you've got grandkids staying with you, um, you got way better flow around the beds when they're folded out, which is really cool. Um, the narrower body, like an eight foot wide, depending on how deep the slide boxes are, uh, depending on the manufacturer, of course, 
a lot of times those sofas will meet in the middle or you can only do one or the other okay so with this particular product a lot better flow space around the um, around the beds when they're folded out I'm just gonna flip this up we had to take the get glass panel off here just to do a little bit of touch-ups on it but uh, again it's got that nice wood inlay all the way around giving you a beautiful look note the heat duct down here grand design there's no heat ducts on their floors uh, of course floor plan specific and depending on where they put it sometimes there's a heat duct around the main bed up in your master bedroom in an upper deck model but what's really nice about no heat registers in the floor it's a one piece floor it's much stronger but what's really nice about it is that you know if you've got a heat duct on your floor which a lot of products have and you've got your sofa beds folded out and that heat is billowing up underneath your sofa you know you're not going to bake your guests in this particular product they're going to be much more comfortable sleeping on the tri-fold sofas okay so far better heat distribution but i'm just going to take a little sit down here on the theater seat and just shoot this for you so beautiful power lift tv there's a mirror on the back of that and i'll show you that here shortly but very good conversation sake what's nice about this too is let's say you've got you know some guests down in the kitchen area you've got the tv lower down in the in the stove position you know you can see everybody you're looking beyond uh just your living area here so it really opens up the inside of the trailer which is nice for 37 and a, uh, 37 feet 11 inches and that's a great big Roku TCL TV but then you've also got the big mirror and I like the mirror because it really doesn't even though that's in the up position it doesn't necessarily feel like you've closed in uh, the kitchen space so beautiful setup there and I'm just gonna fold this down it's totally enclosed in a nice box you know you're not seeing the back of the TV with all the wires and everything so call that a televator all right the other thing just to note you know the window uh, window valances they put in all solid wood stained uh, real nice wood inlay you've got the mcd roller shades you know true blackout versus a pleated shade so they're going the extra step with that which is nice just give you one last look in the living room here so beautiful beautiful they just absolutely nailed it on this new front living room design all right heading down into the kitchen area so one thing i'm just going to do is just flip up these real nice counter extensions to give you that added added counter space they've done you know six real nice drawers here in your kitchen one thing to note i'll go to this one it's a little lower um, grand design updated all of their drawer structure most products are doing a thin luon panel in the base of the drawer and i encourage you when you're looking at the at the products in the industry just open a drawer and really push down like you push on this drawer it does not flex whatsoever that is a thick piece of plywood right there so very very rugged structurally sound uh, drawer most products to save weight and cost they do a luon panel so when you push on the bottom of that drawer it'll flex quite substantially so we've seen it over the years where you know you'll put too much gear in your in your drawers and literally the base of the drawer falls out uh, because they just use a real thin luon panel grand design you don't have to worry about that happening so real nice uh, solid modern looking handle pulls beautiful job there extra counter space here you know you want to add some things do a set up a coffee pot that sort of thing again beautiful wood inlay on the back of that uh, entertainment cabinet and then you've got over here fantastic storage pantry space so we were able to get the uh, 12 cubic foot norcold gas electric refrigerator in here we can get the residential package which would give you a residential fridge there as well if you'd so choose to do more of a seasonal site or if you just want a residential fridge the other thing that's new split basin sink so they give you a little split there what i really like about that is you know if they put this all the way to the top you're going to be limited on the amount of stuff you can put in either side so they're giving you the best of both worlds they're giving you the ability to be able to do a small load of dishes 
you know, you can fill up the water right up to here um, to do your dunk tank and then obviously your cleaning side. Um, or if you want to hide that frying pan, you just drop it in there. The handle goes over to this side and you put the covers back on. So they're kind of giving you the best of both worlds, which is nice. So nice upgraded faucet. That's a pull out hand sprayer. Real nice modern look to it as well. Okay. Got the beautiful pendant lighting above. Beautiful detail. And then over on this side, you've got a fantastic pantry. Of course, what Grand Design is known for. Pull out four great big drawers there. Added fully adjustable shelving. And then extra storage here. You could take those shelves out and turn that into a broom closet if you wanted to. So there is no shortage of storage. That's a beautiful thing. You're not sacrificing going down in length. You know, a lot of times to get shorter, they got to take things out. But this one, you don't have to sacrifice. So beautiful microwave storage above. And then you get the new Insignia residential inspired propane gas oven. So huge size here. Like you could cook a small turkey in there if you wanted to. So, and then pull out receptacles. Nice counter space right when you walk in the trailer. So if you're bringing the groceries in, you could just drop them there. And then of course you get the solitude dinette. You've got a new style chair, real modern look to it. And again, that, that table, just to get down on my knees here and show it to you, it's mounted and suspended from the wall versus having a leg there. So getting in and out of the dinette, you're not banging your knees. So much nicer. So, and two of those chairs are folding. So if you want to fold those two out, the two cl closest to the wall away, just fold them up, stick them underneath your bed, and you got a lot more flow space around that dinette for two people. So super tall slide box as well with monster windows. It's one of the things you get with Grand Design, gigantic windows. Why? They're not afraid to spend the money to put a big window in, but secondly, the structure is in the wall to support that big window. Very important. Okay, all solid wood slide out casing all the way around. Real high end look. So I optioned in the thermal, wind, thermal pane windows on this trailer. So it is a dual pane window. Um, you know, biggest thing for a dual pane window folks is they're much quieter than a single pane window and you get less chance of that frost building up on the inside of the, the window like you do a single pane. You know, you do get a little bit of an R value increase. It's not drastic. Uh, but, you know, every little bit helps and, and, you know, you look at any type of motor home that's other than entry level, they're putting dual pane windows in them. Uh, so that's much quieter inside the coach as you're going down the road. So with this one, you've got the dual pane windows, which is nice. So even this down here, all solid wood, like full wood paneling to enclose around the base of your island. It's not just that cheap Luon panel with that... Um, paper you know wood paper look that you find on some products really beautiful setup here so and right here at your entryway you've got the uh, dust kick there so you can kick that open with your foot sweep over to your floor or from your floor when you're doing your sweeping inside and suck in all the dirt there uh, again you've got the one control system on this trailer as well which is real nice battery on oh, there we go so with the one control system it's real slick so uh, you can download to your phone uh, the one control app and you can connect Bluetooth to your to your trailer um, what's really nice about that is you can operate the leveling system from your phone you can operate the slide outs from your phone the awning uh, a lot of the lighting uh, all of that sort of stuff so um, what's nice about it is let's say you pull into a campground and there's some trees in the way and you're like ah Will my slide out when it goes out hit that tree? And you're kind of unsure and you position your trailer the best, the best way you feel. You don't have to stand inside your trailer and operate your slide outs. You can go outside your trailer, stand and watch and just really see um, you know, if that slide out's gonna hit or that awning is gonna hit uh, a tree. So the other cool thing is I can turn all the lights off by the push of a button inside the trailer. So all your main lights, you can kill them right there. Then you walk in and then you can turn them all on as well. So really nice setup. Got your devices here. There we go. Awnings connected, leveling, lighting, and then your slide outs. 
So real nice setup. All right, got the nice easy grab handle here. Solid uh, two-sided door. And uh, let's hit it in your bathroom here. You do have the access from your master bedroom into your bathroom. Beautiful Encore designed residential ins inspired uh, shower surround. That's a one piece fiberglass shower surround. Grand design going the extra step. You've got the sprayer jets. You've got one down there, one midway, and then of course the, uh, the main head there. And then you got the hand sprayer. They did add some baskets, which is really nice. Putting your soaps and those sorts of things. And then they give you a fold down seat there as well. So really enhancing the, uh, the shower experience. You know, a lot of times you're putting your, your soap bottles on the floor of the shower because they don't really give you places to set it. Grand Design's thinking. It's part of the refining that they go through. And the floor of that shower sits a little bit below the floor of your, um, your uh, bathroom here. So if you're tall, you've got tons of headroom in here. Like somebody that's six foot four, six foot five would easily fit within this shower. And then if you're a little taller than that, you've got the skylight for your head to go up inside there. So lots of space. Lots of counter space for around your sink, storage. And then you've got the full vanity there. We'll just open this up for you. So two shelves inside. Beautiful look, beautiful look porcelain toilet and then of course coming into your bedroom here got the chest of drawers do get the lift here for all your jewelry and such television above washer dryer cupboard you can do a stackable unit or a combo unit if you did a combo unit you'd still get the hanging storage above or you can do a stacker in here you got six great big drawers underneath your closet. And then you've got the, just stand back here, sliding closet. I kind of positioned it that way, but you've got the dual latch there to securely keep it in place. So you got the double mirror. So beautiful setup there as well. And then king size bed. You can get a queen in here if you so choose. And we'll just lift it underneath the bed here. So beautiful storage here. Grand Design from day one has been building their under bed system the exact same way. So um, pull out drawer here for, you know, sitting down, putting your socks on in the morning, laundry hamper, jewelry tray, or his and her laundry hampers on either side. But one thing to note, they do use a finisher's grade plywood on the bed decking, which is nice, less chance of slivers and wearing out your mattress above, double gas strut, very, very clean, well finished off under bed storage. So they're doing it right. And again, dual USB connections on either side of the bed with 110 plugs. So if you've got a CPAP machine you need to run, you can do that over here. So, and yeah, pocket door to get into your, into your um, bathroom there. So, this is the all new 346 FLS Grand Design RV Solitude. I am super excited to have this floor plan. I've ordered a bunch of these. So, well, we've pre-ordered them. We've got a handful of them coming. So if you're looking for a front living room and have always been kind of gun shy with the length of what you would typically see in that plus 40 foot range, this gets you into a front living room at 37 feet, 11 inches, the solitude grand design way, no sacrifices, no apologizing. And uh, you got a killer layout here with a killer manufacturer supported by a dealership that wants to come alongside you and provide you an unbelievable RV experience. So my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm with Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We are 15 minutes south of Edmonton. We're a two minute drive from the Edmonton International Airport. Fly in, have a look, buy a truck, hook onto a trailer and tow her home. We can do that and uh, make it easy for you. So again, thank you for your time. Our phone number, 780 
986-1234. And uh, give us a shout. Love to help you out. Thanks for your time. Take care. Happy camping.